When you start learning to play a pull-off, you gotta look at the basic move. This video is about pull-offs, but you can't make sense out of pull-offs until you look carefully at the way you pluck your banjo string. Take a look at the chart. Let's just pretend that attack and release goes from the feather touch on the left to the death grip on the right. This chart gives a general idea of how tone and volume change as you change your touch. The green line is tone and the red line is volume. The chart says that the volume increases as you dig in more but the tone degrades. Now everybody knows that, but it is also saying pay attention to the pop and the twang. Okay, these are the basics. There's two extreme ways of hitting the string, the pop and the twang. The pop works well with the feather touch, but as you move to the other end of the slider, it gets twangy. Okay, here is the pop. The pop pushes the string down, but the twang pulls it up. Now the pop goes with the feather touch. This is the feather touch. softer touch is smooth, but let's talk about the death grip, the muscle, the stretch, the big crook, the twang. Try this. Plant the pinky in the ring, stick the thumb out straight, now curl up your picking fingers into the palm. The death grip or the claw is not for everyone, but many people go that way. Okay, back to the feather touch. Uh, limp hand, let the fingers hang, wiggle the tips, schlep. Find the softest touch that will make a clear note. The feather touch, let the hand hang limp and schlep. Use floating hand drills to get control of the schlep. Explore attack and release. It helps a lot in your performance. Feather touch all the way to the claw. There's use for just about every position. A conservative middle of the road approach would sound like this. Attack and release. Recap. Position zero, or you want to call it the feather touch. We have the pop. Then we have the schlep. We have the loose knuckle, we have the smaller crook of the finger, and then finally the soft plant of the anchor fingers on the head. So let's go to the claw. Oh, you missed it. We're going to have to go back and look at it again. Now that was the three to two pull off that we started with. We showed it as a, an anchor, a snap, and a release. Now when we look at it again, speed it up in context, it turns into just two light taps. And that was the whole point of everything.